This laser is drilling 50 holes per second into a sheet of metal. And the diameter of these current holes are about 20 thousandths of an inch. It's called a fiber laser and is one of about a hundred types made by IPG Photonics based in Oxford, Massachusetts. Competing laser technologies are not easily able to put their cutting head on the end of a robot. Older types of lasers depend on mirrors with precise alignments to cut or weld metal and other materials. IPG makes a laser inside a fiber optic cable that they say is more powerful and uses less electricity. This is a piece of the fiber optic. You can see it's very flexible. The laser comes through this, comes out of that end right there. IPG's lasers are used for everything from marking logos onto metals or plastics to very precise cutting and welding. The company says most major car manufacturers worldwide are using their lasers in production. The fiber lasers cost between $9,000 for smaller medical lasers to more than $800,000 for large industrial systems. Rather than using outside manufacturers for parts, IPG produces all of the key laser components at three manufacturing sites in the U.S., Germany, and Russia. It was quite a contrarian strategy to adopt at the time when everybody was outsourcing uh, manufacturing to the Far East. We gain a lot of our efficiencies and profitability by doing things internally. By building everything themselves, IPG says they're able to deliver things faster to their customers at a time when demand for fiber lasers has increased sharply. The average growth rate of the company over the last five years is about 25%. The growth rate in the last two years has been 59%. I start my business with $5,000. CEO Valentin Gapenstev started IPG in Russia in 1990 before bringing the company to the United States in 1998. He now employs approximately 2,300 employees worldwide, and that $5,000 investment is worth quite a bit more now. In two, three years, we have a good chance to reach billion dollars revenue. There are other makers of fiber lasers, but none growing as fast as IPG currently. And for future growth, the company is targeting other applications for their fiber lasers, such as production of semiconductors or flat panel displays. For CNN Money, I'm Bob Crowley.